natin nakikita. That is faith. Another faith sees the invisible, believe the unbelievable, and receive the impossible. That is faith. That is faith. Hindi natin nahahawakan, but we know that God is there. I will hold you, God, with my faith. Tatay ko, mahal niyo ito si Gil. Magaling yan, magaling sa gitara. Pero wala na, binago na ng pangilin. Sa lugar namin, gabi-gabi, minsan gabi-gabi talaga, hahanapin yan. Pag wala pa yan sa bahay, alas 11, alas 12, baba kami ng bahay, alis kami ng bahay. You know, hindi namin tatanungin yung 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 makakasalubong namin, nakita nyo si Boytan, nakita nyo si Boytan. Alam nyo, anong paraan na para hinahanap namin yung tatay namin? Tunog ng musika. Alam na namin, pag malayo yan, yun, boses yan ng tatay ko. I love music. I love music, pero wala ako sa gitara. Sintonado ako, pero mahilig ako makinig ng music. And we all know all of us, we love music. Kahit ano pa yung kaganda yung music. Kung bingi ka, hindi mo naririnig. You don't hear the sound of a music that is nothing. You cannot understand the lyrics, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot amaze by the lyrics of that music kung bingi ka. If you are a dead person. Kahit ano kaganda ng, ng kulay ng rainbow, kung blind ka, you won't appreciate it. You won't appreciate the kusha pig, what spell kusha? Red na lang. Okay? You will not appreciate the kind of music or the color of your dress or the color of the curtain if you are blind. You will not appreciate faith in God until you experience it. Nung si Andrew naglilid kanina, May trust nga siya sa akin how much more if God is there. He's a great balancer. Nag-inauguration ceremony na si, ano ah, si Donald Trump. No? Ang maraming tao. Pero mas marami daw yung kay Barack Obama na dumalang. Ganun din Ganun din karami ang tao na dumalo sa isang great balancer. Yung isang great balancer, nagbabalance siya sa isang building, no, gagamitin yung lupit, a roof, from that building going to another building. And then, una niyang, una niyang tawid, sabi niya, I will just use a stick to balance myself from here going there to another building. Tumawid siya, Ka, gamit lang yung lubid. And then, nakatawid siya. Palapak. Great balancer ka talaga. Next, I will use a wheelbarrow from here going back to that building. He used that wheelbarrow going back to balance and then he reached the other building and palapak. Ka yung, Ooh, you are a great balancer. Amazing. Sabi niya, next, I will go back to that building with this wheelbarrow. Sabi niya sa crowd, sino ang gusto sa inyo na sumakay sa wheelbarrow? Itatawid ko sa kabila. <laughs> the people was in silent. Nobody want to put their trust in the great balance. That is the same with us. Sometimes we don't want to put our self confidence to our God that is holding that one barrel going to another building. God is our choice. It's your own personal choice. We are become incapable to feel and to experience what is God in our life. What is the power? What is the faithfulness? What is the mercy? 
until we obey to God. Through our faith, God allow us to see the invisible or the, the, the invisible. The invisible things. Ito lang pagbabasihan nyo ha. Simple. Through our faith sa prayer. Jeremiah 3.33 sabi niya, Call unto me and I will answer thee and I will show you great things and mighty things which thou knowest not. Which thou knowest not. Call unto me and I will answer thee. You will call unto the Lord and He will answer you according to His purpose, not to our purpose. According to His will, not to our will. And He will show you great and mighty things with thou knowest not. Knowest not. Okay lang yung great, di ba? Grabe no, pag binigay sa ina Panginoon, great things. What is the great things that will happen to your life and God will, will show it to you and you will experience the greatness of God. Ang pangalawa, ito yung grabe, sabi niya, great and mighty things that is the impossible, He made possible. When there is, seems there is no way, God will make a way. Yan yung na-experience ni Moses during sa Red Sea. Andun sa, sa kanila ni Quran yung, yung soldier. Egyptian soldiers. Uh, soldier, so, so, soldiers. And then sabi ng Pahit, you will cross the Red Sea. Impossible yun. Sometimes in our life, we need to experience the impossible thing, the power of God, the mighty of God. Because God wants us to experience sino siya sa buhay natin. Beyond the river, beyond the ocean, beyond our imagination, that is our faith. Saan tayo dadalhin ang ating faith? Hebrews 11 verse 7. By faith Noah, being warm of God, of things that seen as yet move with fear, prepare an ark to, to the saving of his house by which he, command, he condemned the word and become a heir of the righteousness which is by faith. Alam niyo, okay lang yun eh. Kung mga kasabi ng pangin, okay? Noah, okay, uh, brother, gawa ka ng art. Gawa ka ng art. Alam niyo, ilang years ginawa ni Noah yung art? 120 years. Okay lang, 30 years, 50 years, 70 years, pero mag-120 years, sabi ng tao, buang ka. Diba sabi ng tao kay Moses, ah, kay Noah, buang ka siya yan. Gagawa ka ng art, maghihintay ka sa Panginoon, but God commanded Noah. Ang sabi ni Noah sa sarili niya, God is my companion. Every time, every day, as I build this art, God is my companion. And God will be true to His promise. Someday, somehow. Hindi pa natin makikita eh. Hindi pa natin makikita na dyan na yung rib, and dyan na yung tubig, at luluta yung art until we did not obey God. Tandaan mo yan. Until we did not obey God by our faith, hindi mo makikita yung tubig, hindi mo mapipil na lumulutang ka na sa grace ng Panginoon. Until you will not land that into a dry land. Believers, obey first. Choose God by your faith. 20 years, 120 years, Noah put his confidence and choose God by his faith. Hindi niya tinyo sa Panginoon dahil Diyos siya. Ulit, pagka Diyos niya nilagay ni Noah ang faith niya sa Panginoon. In Matthew 17 verse 20, kunti na lang, 5 minutes. Faith described to us by a Bible, sa Bible. Describe niya po yung faith. Ano nga? Ano pang describe ng, ng Bible sa faith sa Matthew 17 verse 20? Please open your Bible. Anong size ng faith na describe ng Bible sa atin? Size of a mustard? Seed. Kano ba kalaki? Mustard seed. 
kung malaki, pwede mong pagagamitan ng ganito. Oy, pwede itong gawin. Pwede itong gawin ganito. Ah, pwede itong, eto mustard seed, malaki. Hatiin natin, siguro ito, pang hapunan. Gawin ko nga yan, o kumakain na, o pwede kainin, o kain. Kinakain siguro, o sige. Malagyan natin, makain yung o pagkain ito. Eh sige, malaki. O sige, eto, almusan natin. Iprituhin mo nga. Eto, tangalikan natin. Ano yun yung mga uh, sabawan mo nga? O, pagkagabi, sige, pwede another minuto. But, mustard seed. Ganyan nga kalaki ang description ng size. God said, if you have a mustard seed, you could say to the mountain, pull out and go to the ocean. Alam nyo, tayo natin ang meaning. It's not the size of your feet. It's not the size of your feet. Tandaan nyo, the monster seed is not the size of your feet. It is the size of your feet for God. Gaano kalaki ang Panginoon sa buhay natin? Gaano kalaki ang Panginoon mapipicture out natin that there is God? There is God in that, in that day. There is God for tomorrow. There is God for another month. Every time when I experience struggles, problems in that month, God is there. I have paid a monster seed and I make God bigger, bigger, bigger than my problem. Kagaya nga yung sinasabi natin, God, I have a problem, I have a big God. Hindi natin pwede sabihin problem. God, I have a big problem. Kundi, problem, I have a big God. Mystery kasi para sa akin yung faith eh. Ayawang ko lang sa inyo. Until now, I describe as a mystery. Mystery na hindi mo talaga mahulaan ano ito. Mystery of the pink table. Yung kwento ng pink table na yan. Corbett story yan. Alam nyo, last Wednesday, may message na nalisip ako galing kay Pastor Boy Chesta. Nagpapapray siya sa kanyang kapatid yata no, na nasa critical condition. Kasi buntis. No? So, 30% lang ang 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 ano, ng, ng porsyento ng nanay na mabuhay. So, faith is a mystery for me. Bakit? Kasi a lot of Christians suffering in their sicknesses. Maybe some of us. Huwag lang sakit sa bulsa. Normal yan. May iba nga cancer sa bulsa eh. Now, a lot of us Christians suffer in various sicknesses. May iba mga, may mga Christian na faithful na suffer ng cancer. May ibang Christian na ganito yung pangangailangan nila dahil sa sakit nila. Ganito yung kailangan na amount nila. Nandun nakakumpahin sa hospital. Naka-ICU. You know? Walang masama pag nag-question ka sa Pahina. God, why you allow na mangyari sa mga Christian niya na magkasakit sila? And I do believe when they are in that hospital, when they feel that kind of sicknesses, when they have that kind of sicknesses, they call it to you. And you said in Jeremiah 33 verse 33, Call unto me and I will answer thee and I will pray, show thee great and mighty things. They call upon you. Why you let these people die? Why you let these people suffer? They are Christians, right? That is the mystery of pain. But the mystery of pain, even what happened to me, to my family, to my children, to my loved one, I could still praise the Lord of my faith. Mm-hmm. That is the faith that, sus- that, that surpasses all circumstances of our life. Even what happened to us some days and now. We could still praise God to my faith that is the faith of Job. You understand what is happening to you. We still believe that God is still on His throne even what happened to you. That is the real faith. That is the mustard seed that you are holding in your heart, in your life. 
as a Christian. You never waive your faith will not waver. It will not decrease. It will increase. It will increase. It will increase. Journey of faith. I don't know what will be our tomorrow. I don't know. May mga plano kayo, may pinagpapray kayo. God only knows. God only knows what is that. What the desires of your heart. And I don't know kailan yan sasagutin ng Panginoon. At prayer kagabi, yung discernment. What is discernment? Discernment is, I want it. I want it. Lord, I want it. But is your will be done? I want it. What is your discernment? I want it, Lord. Pero pag hindi binigay ng pari, could you still praise the Lord? Could you still have the mustard seed of faith in your Christian life? Hold it until Christ come in our midst. Father, we thank you so much for your Bless these words in our